This is AQA A-Level Chemistry. It is a required practical question and it's focusing on RPA1. This is question four. I'm going to recommend you pause, have a go on paper and then review the answers. Okay, so we're going to start with part A. Moving on to part B. And on to part C. So let's take a look at each of those sections. Part A, draw the skeletal formula of propane dioic acid. Now I am going to spend a bit of time here actually drawing it out in full. You wouldn't need to do that in an exam, it's just to illustrate how we get there. So propane dioic acid, our carbon chain is prop, which is three. Carboxylic acid group is COOH. But it's dioic, so I'm going to need to put another one on. The only place you can put those is the end of carbon chains. So it looks like this. Fill in the remaining H's and we have got propane dioic acid. But we need the skeletal formula. So let's take our propane chain and put it into skeletal form. And you can see that there. And I now have to add the double bondos and the OH's, which we can see here. Moving on to B. Describe how to prepare 250 centimetre cubed of an aqueous standard solution of propane dioic acid containing an accurately measured mass of the acid. Include essential practical details in your answer. I've put this back here in case you missed it from the start. Propane dioic acid contains two carboxylic, carboxylic acid groups. It is a solid organic acid that is crucial because the method is built around the acid being solid if you start talking about measuring out a volume of it you're not going to get the marks so let's see what you do get the marks for first of all weigh out a sample in a weighing boat then transfer that solid to a conical flask using washings or you can weigh by difference whichever method is fine but you make it clear which one you are using then dissolve the sample in the minimum volume of deionized water. Certainly, it's going to be less than 250 because you're going to need water in later stages. So as long as you go less than 250, you're fine, but minimum volume will get you the answer there. Then transfer that solution to the volumetric flask, adding washings. You're making sure all of it is being transferred then make up that volume to 250 centimeters cubed. And finally, you're going to shake and invert the solution. This is a fairly standard question for a fairly standard practical and procedural method. It's definitely worth reviewing and reminding yourselves of these steps regularly. Moving on to part C, calculate the mass in milligrams of propane dioic acid, MR is given as 104, needed to prepare 250 centimetres cubed of a 0.005 molar solution. So to begin, we're going to look at N equals CV. I've got 0.005 moles per dm cubed, and I've got 250 centimetre cubed, which I'm converting into decimeters cubed. That takes me to 0.00125 moles. Now, I then need to work out the mass. M is N multiplied by MR. I've just worked out that I've got 0.00125 moles. I'm going to multiply that by 104. And when I do that, I get to an answer of 0.130 grams. However, the answer needs to be in milligrams. Multiply that by 1,000, we get 130 milligrams. Two marks on that question. And that takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening and goodbye.